Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Jedi Knight Edition. Now we are on Forged Alliances Part 3, and we're just about to speak to Theron. But first, joining me today, once again, is my girlfriend, Victoria. Hello. And, of course, we are now going to speak to Theron and see what's up. I have a feeling we are going to be heading on to some place, which I'm not really looking forward to. It's probably Legacy of the Rakata, but... Let's find out. All right, all right, we'll be there right away, Jakaro. Just don't tear the limbs off of anything. Or anything else. Hey, it's good that you're here. Our friends are eager to get started. Get started with what, exactly? Colonel Derek, Darth Arcus, and the Revenite friends. Since your operation on Manan, Lana's uncovered a few more Revenites who've infiltrated the Republic military. I've been slicing the traitors' communications and tracked the messages back to Derek and Arcus. They're in a hidden facility on the planet Rakata Prime. That's our target. Do you think the Revenites know you found their hideout? No, not yet at least. That's why we need to move quickly. The messages I've decoded. That cyborg technology you ran into on Manan was just the prototype phase. On Rakata Prime, they're in full production. They're taking pieces of the Star Forge and implanting them into their own people. The Star Forge? It was a Rakatan weapon. A giant self-sustaining factory that ran on the dark side of the Force. Revan destroyed it 300 years ago. The pieces of debris are still active, though. They self-repair and even self-replicate under the right circumstances. With that technology grafted to their bodies, the Revanites become much harder to stop. Reminds me of Rakata technology that I dealt with on Tatooine. Nasty stuff. I've seen Agent Fowler's reports on that one. It's good to know we're bringing along an expert. Jakaro's freighter should get us onto the planet's surface undetected. We'll plan our attack from there. I can't wait to see the look on Arcus and Derek's faces. And yes it is. It is Legacy of the Rakata and I suppose I will see you once we are on the sunny shores of the tropical planet and the varying amounts of Rakata units we're gonna have to deal with. And here we are, the sunny beach. Ooh, it's actually it's actually pretty nice weather, I've got to say. Well, uh, whatever the case, let us speak to Jakaro. Do we have a plan ready? I don't know if it's fair to describe it as a plan, necessarily. I've done a bit of scouting. The Revanites are camped in the Temple of the Ancients, an old ruin nearby. We've gotten this far without being detected. It's time for you to go in and make some noise. What? This isn't what we discussed? It's suicide! I demand that you detach me this instant! What kind of security do the Revanites have? They've convinced some of the local Rakatan tribes to patrol the areas around the temple for them. A truly barbaric lot. The Revanites themselves are guarding the temple grounds. They're fully armed and paranoid. Wonderful. We'll be keeping an eye on things from the ship. As long as we all stay sharp, we'll get this conspiracy shut down permanently. May the Force serve you well. Well, uh, let us hope it does, but I think I'm going to put more faith in Theron this time around, and his intel, of course. So, let us make our way to the Temple of the Ancients, along with our combat support droids, and... Well, we're going to have to fight through a little bit of the wildlife before we get there. We'd hope to avoid much of the tribal area, but the terrain doesn't appear to be cooperating with us. You'll have to pass through the Rakatan settlement to get to the temple. It's further along the beach. I lay around that rancor. I do not envy you. Okay, so we have arrived at the first boss. Yes, I know, I did technically cut out quite a bit of the flashpoint, but, well, as I stated beforehand, it is a rather long one, and also not really my favorite. I think Manan is probably the worst one for me, and this one is coming in a very close second to last, so... Yeah, I actually don't mind the story here. It's just I really do not like fighting the Rakata units. I personally feel like I just don't like their design. I do not like their design that much. But here comes the first boss. And his Rancor is going to be very hungry. And we're going to be attempting to take it out. Obviously, I think this actually has some really high-powered area attacks. And we're going to see 
if we can avoid most of those. I'm actually unsure. Are they are they conal attacks? I think they're conal attacks. So, yeah, there we go. That's very very easy to. Oh no, never mind. Okay, apparently not. Apparently not easy to avoid because he decided to target me instead of targeting the combat support droid or whoever it was attacking beforehand. Ah yes, of course. Now the big question is, can I use my stun? Nope. Can't use this stun. Of course not. He does have an immunity to that, as you can see. Yes. Boss immunity. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, and there we go. I guess I get to use my force charge to go back in there. That's pretty cool. I do like having that up a little bit quicker than normal, thanks to our utility spec. Obviously, it's not as good as it could be, because technically, I am wasting, I think, one proficiency point in the force charge because it is already resetting itself after every combat. Well, technically after every time we get out of combat it resets itself. So you don't really need the reduction every single time you get hit in combat. Although, saying that, that actually does make a huge difference if you are just going to continually be in combat. So I guess it's not actually that bad a thing. But there is level 59. Not bad to see that. Thank you very much. Almost level 60. I'm actually, yeah, we are going to make it to level 60, I'm pretty sure. And onward to the Temple of the Ancients. Overheard some Revenites near your position. Came across a cache of Rakata Tech weapons. Might want to do something about that. Okay, so upon reaching the next area, we have come across some weapon caches, which of course we do need to destroy to eliminate the Revenite's ability to fight us, although they do have a rather significant amount of Jedi Masters on their side, which I have to admit is... I, I actually don't know, because it's, it's quite remarkable, isn't it? Because usually we're just seeing a handful of Jedi, and we are technically not even supposed to have more than... I, I don't even know the number specifically, but we're not supposed to have such a huge amount of Jedi in the Order to begin with. So how can the Revanites have so many? Well, I suppose it's because they either liberate them, maybe kidnap them, and turn them to their side, or something along those lines. Well... Yes, maybe that's a little bit too in-depth for me right now, but we are now going to be continuing on to the Temple of the Ancients. Infinite Army Conscripts. They're further along with production than we suspected. Okay, well, we've arrived at the Temple of the Ancients. As you can see, Commander Rand is waiting for us, and he has Infinite Army Legionnaires alongside him. So, without further ado, let's tackle them. Head on. Oh yes, there we go. Now, he is going to be bombarding us from the sky. He has a rather wonderful jetpack, which I would love to have, but... Yes, we're just going to have to make do with our regular Jedi abilities. Ah, yes, of course. And, oh yes, I believe someone actually asked what lightsaber crystal this is. This is the Advanced Desert Green, I believe. Yes, Advanced to Desert Green? Yeah, I think it's a bronze, silver quality. I actually don't know, but... Yeah, that's what it is, so... If you're wondering, there you go. That's what it is. So... Wow, okay, I literally just got finished saying one sentence and he's already dead. Can you imagine? Wow. Oh, and now he's going to troll us with a 45 second channel. Really? <laughs> okay, a 45 second channel and... Wow, okay, that's, that's, that's a super troll. That is a super troll right there. I cannot believe it. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I can't believe it's not butter. Maybe? Maybe I could say that? I don't know. <laughs> yes, well, whatever the case, his bubble will not last too long. He doesn't have multiple bubbles. I have multiple bubbles on my side, so I'm okay with that. I'm I'm pretty good. So, <laughs> now all we need to do is access the inner temple door. Oh, yes. Wow, that was quite the marathon. We took literally, I don't even know, we took like 10 seconds to get here. Excellent work. Theron is slicing into the facility's structural plans now. It's not looking great. Your only option is to pass through the conscription center, dead ahead. The cyborgs ahead are in some kind of standby mode. They'll activate as soon as you enter the room. Be ready for a fight. Blasted sensors. Lana, could you do a quick perimeter check? I can't tell if these contacts are real or not. Right away. We don't have much time. We can't risk any of the tech in that conscription center falling into Imperial hands. 
overload the console. It'll fry everything inside and kill the cyborgs before they have a chance to wake up. Better to play it safe. I'm setting the console to overload now. What was that? Is everything all right? We found a shortcut. Anything out there? No, nothing. Jakara's sensors clearly need a bit of adjustment. We wouldn't want to be misled again. Definitely not. Go ahead and keep moving. We'll stay in contact. Ooh, did you did you actually see that? Did you see Lana just glare at Theron right there? She was like, oh, I know what's going on here. Something, something's going on. Well, whatever the case, I felt like the dark side option de definitely didn't really seem like the dark side option to me. I mean, we are eliminating enemies. Obviously, killing things, uh, kind of dark side, I guess. But we are preventing technology from falling into Imperial hands. Well, why why is that dark side? I have no idea. I don't even know why they even gave that a dark side slash light side option, really. But, oh well, I guess that's just how it is. We are technically playing a black and white kind of game where there's good and evil, light and dark, and there's not really anything in between, unfortunately enough. Not in this expansion, at least. And here we are, we have reached the temple roof, and we are about to interact with it. It's a rather large door, so I guess we're going to have to knock pretty loudly. Wait for us! Please try to headbutt them with your own skull this time. Let's go. Your plans are finished. The conspiracy ends now. My, but we have a very high opinion of ourselves, don't we? This project would have accelerated our plans considerably. Losing it is regrettable, but it will not stop us. You've done a fair bit of damage, it's true, but the project isn't a total loss. After all, you've helpfully delivered yourselves for slaughter. It's not too late. Not even for someone who's fallen as far as you. You can still be redeemed, if you will only release your hatred. Jedi platitudes are meaningless. All that matters is the plan. <coughs> you and your simple-minded beast will have the fight you came for, Colonel. Let's get on with it. Oh, I, I thought he wasn't going to do it. I thought he wasn't going to do the action roll. Oh, that would have been a travesty to miss out on that. I know that in the Imperial side flashpoint, Colonel Darek walks on to the battlefield. Technically, this is a battlefield. And he just walks up and he's like, hello, I'm here. And then he just action rolls for no reason. I have no idea. I have no idea why he does that, but... He does it, and in this one, I thought to myself, oh, they're both standing there, and I was quite disappointed. But then, he did it. He did the action roll for no reason again. Oh, that was just absolutely fantastic. I really do. <laughs> I really do appreciate that. Oh, yes. That is really, really great. Unfortunately, Darth Arcus is going to be the one going down first. Obviously, yeah, probably a wise idea, considering he's probably going to be having less HP. Does he have less HP? 228,000. And, oh, they have exactly the same HP. Well, that's not accurate at all, is it? I'm pretty sure Darth Arcus would have less HP than Colonel Darek. Maybe. Yeah, well, considering he's some sort of Inquisitor, I would expect him to have less HP. And Colonel Darek is some sort of vanguard, I would say. Trooper vanguard, perhaps? Hmm. Well, whatever the case, they're both going to go down, and they're going to, well, have their faces in the dirt slash glass. Yes. Dirt glass. Exactly. So, now, let us contact Theron and Lana via Hollow Terminal. I'd like to contact Theron only, please. 
well, maybe maybe there'll be some kind of airlock explosion and Lana will be involved? I, uh, no, I can't possibly suggest that, can I? Derek and Arcus fought to their last breath. We won't be getting any information from them. Copy that. Blast it. I must agree with my master. They're far more trustworthy as corpses. I sense something. We're in danger. Multiple sensor contacts. Capital ships are dropping out of hyperspace. No IDs. One of them's coming in hot. Arcus and Derek were valuable allies in my cause. But their deaths will not delay what is coming. That voice. It's him. Revan. My infinite army could have achieved so much. But I still have other weapons in my arsenal. You were reported dead. Was that report wrong? Only somewhat. When a goal is important enough, one learns to overcome any obstacle. My followers are legion. My ranks grow every hour as more and more people see the truth of the galaxy. The Emperor couldn't break me. Even death could not stop me. I will finish what I've started, and you will not interfere again. They're powering up weapons! Get out of there! Now! Okay, that was a little bit weird, wasn't it? I, I actually thought to myself, oh, we're gonna get blasted to smithereens, but no, it's actually... Oh, it is actually firing. Oh, okay. They're, they're, they're being a little inaccurate, I have to say, but they, they are actually firing at us. I thought to myself, hmm, the cutscene was actually firing at one of the towers. One of these towers. So I thought to myself, hmm, we're not standing on one of those. I'm actually really surprised that they did that, but whatever the case, let us now exit the area, and we'll head on to Theron on Carrick Station? Oh, okay. We're apparently going to some sort of space station to meet up with Theron this time. Well, I suppose that's not too bad. Or, or, or is it? I actually have no idea. I mean, is, is Carrick Station just another name for the outbound mission place? It apparently is. Is it? It is! Oh my. Well, I'm observant, as we know. Yes, I'm e extremely observant. Oh no. Yeah, I, I just ignore that. Ignore that previous discrepancy. Oh, and he's left a data pad. Oh, okay, well, we're, we're gonna be heading to Manan by the looks of things. The droid basically said, Oh, don't tell anyone, you never know what's gonna happen, and the bears from the woods are gonna come out and say, Hello, picnics. And here we are on Manan. No bears in sight, unfortunately, but Lana and Benico. Lana and Benico? <laughs> Yes, Lana and Benico. I just had to laugh about that for about five minutes. And Theron and Sean are here. So, yes, Lana and Benico and Theron and Sean. Where is Jakaro and C2D4? Oh, that actually works. Okay, well, let's speak to him, shall we? Theron, they made it. I knew it. With the amount of fire Revan's ship was laying down, I wasn't optimistic. It's good to see you. <laughs> Oh no, I'd nearly forgotten. Several of my internal components were still aboard. The ship is all right, isn't it? The ship is fine. Come see for yourself. There's something we need to talk about, actually. It truly is a relief to see you safe. I only wish we had more time together. I'm sure you'd love to spy on us a bit more, but oh, look at the time. That isn't what I meant at all. Theron and I learned some troubling things after we escaped Rakata Prime. Well, Jakaro took the news better than you'd think. Have you told him? I think it's best if you do the honors. 
We'll meet again soon. I'm certain of it. She's pretty confident for someone with a bounty on their head. Are the Revenites putting out bounty contracts now? Not directly, no. It's an Imperial contract for murdering Arcus. Under any other circumstances, she would have gotten a promotion for that kind of thing. They also arranged 12 separate death marks for Jakaro. It's a new record for him. And you? Disavowed rogue agent apprehend on sight. Pretty tame compared to the others. The director must have stood up for me. Why would you let the Revenites frame you? We know the charges are fake. Stand up to them. That would take time, and we can't be sure of success. Finding Revan is much more important than clearing our reputations. Besides, we still have you. The Revenites haven't been able to touch you yet. Your record is still clean. But it won't stay that way if you're seen working with us. Lana, Chikaro, D4, and I are all going off the grid. We need to stay hidden if we're going to continue our investigation. No contact, period. What can I do while you're in hiding? There must be some way I can help with the search. There is, actually. The Revenites will be watching you, so do what you do best. Travel the galaxy, achieve impossible things, and make it hard for them to keep up. The busier you keep the Revenites, the easier it'll be for the rest of us to slip through the cracks and find their leader. I'll be sure they see just how much Jedi is capable of. Perfect. All right, I better get moving. The faster we start running, the easier this will all be. Good luck to you. We'll send word as soon as we have something. And then we'll see what this Revan guy is really made of. Yes, indeed we will. Oh my, isn't that fantastic? I really do like the end of that particular story because that means we don't have to go through those flashpoints. Even though it does set things up very nicely, I really do like the Shadow of Revan expansion from now because it actually gives you a lot more story-based things to do. So we're going to take the crystals, thank you very much. And next time, I apparently will be making my way to our ship, and we'll be heading on over to, I would assume, Rishi. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.